Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I have a Xiaomi Redmi 9T or Redmi 9 Power. Redmi 9 Power is the India variant, and Redmi 9T is the global variant. Today's video is about how to root Redmi 9T or Redmi 9 Power. I will go to my mobile phone settings, then we'll go to about phone. I have the currently version MIUI 12.0.15. Now, no matter and doesn't matter if you have 12.0.11, 12.0.12, 13, 14, 15 or the latest version 16. This routing procedure will work on every MIUI version on Redmi 90 or Redmi 9 Power. Now, before going further, if you are new on my channel, you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then it will not cost you any penny. Just click or tap the uh, red color subscribe button and click or tap the YouTube bell icon. Stay connected with me. Whenever I upload new video, you will get notified immediately. And uh, do not forget to like this video if you got helped by this video. Thank you so much for doing that. Before starting the flashing procedure, must check the battery should be charged to maximum. Unlock the bootloader of your mobile phone. Do not apply this flashing procedure on the relock bootloader. You must unlock the bootloader first, then you can flash the this procedure. And save all your internal storage data. This procedure will format everything. And then go to settings, then go to password and security. Must turn off the lock screen. Now come back and go to me account in case if you are using me account sync your me account once and then remove same way come back and go to account sync sync your google account once and then remove this uh, procedure requires uh, data cable and computer few files we need to download now you can simply turn off your mobile phone only one file you need to download and the link is provided in my video description. Uh, you have to download this file in your computer. After downloading it, extract it here and then open the extracted folder. Here you will see the images file inside which is required for flashing and the recovery file plus I have created the batch file to make it easy for you all guys you can flash the custom recovery easily now come back to the mobile phone now we have to boot the mobile phone into fast boot mode and for that the mobile phone must be power off hold the mobile phone in your left hand hold the data cable in your right hand and the other side of this cable must be connected with computer now press and hold the volume down key then connect the cable set will boot into fast boot mode immediately release the volume down key my set is booted into fast boot mode and also connected with computer come back to the computer screen simply double click the flash one file recovery caught flashed congratulations now click the flash double click the flash to file but before let me inform you the set will get reboot after double clicking the flash to file when set gets reboot you have to or you need to press and hold the volume up key so the set will start booting into custom recovery double click the flash to file set so reboot it press and hold the volume up key until the custom recovery screen appears on your mobile phone then release the volume up key immediately Finally, custom screen uh, recovery screen appears. When the set got booted into custom recovery, the internal storage of uh, Redmi 9 Power or Redmi 9T will appears on your computer screen. Here we go. Double click on it. And definitely you will see all the folders are not in proper form. So the internal storage now got encrypted. Now tap on wipe on uh, mobile phone screen. Then tap on format data type y e s and tap here and when it is done then come back to the main screen of mobile phone tap on reboot then tap on recovery the set will start booting back to custom recovery 
And this time when set rebooted into custom recovery, the internal storage will get appear again. Double click on it and this time you will see the TWRP folder in proper form and with proper name which means that the uh, storage is got decrypted now. Now come to the downloaded folder. We have to copy the Magisk 23.0 ZIP file from computer and paste that file into your uh, mobile phone internal storage. After when uh, file got copied, disconnect the cable from mobile phone and we are done from the computer Come to the mobile phone screen tap install and you will see the magisk file over here tap on it and then swipe to start flashing and when flashing got completed you must do this step tap on wipe cache at dalvik then swipe and when it is done then you can tap on reboot system now the set will start booting back to stock ROM. Well, the set was formatted. So the first boot will now take a time. So you better have to wait for it. Let the first boot complete. Then we will continue. Well, obviously the set was uh, formatted. So setup screen appears. I will complete my mobile phone setup screen now. Now connect internet either if you have a Wi-Fi you can connect Wi-Fi or either if you have mobile data simply turn on your mobile data and when internet got connected with mobile phone go to menu and uh, you will see the Magis icon is not uh, properly installed the Magis icon is not proper in proper form the internet is connected tap on the Magis improper icon and you will see upgrade to full magis to finish the setup so tap on ok the downloading will get start tap on settings then allow the permission here first tap here i am aware of uh, the possible risk etc etc then tap ok and then go back then tap install and we are done now come back to the menu screen you will see the mages icon which was improper form is converted to the uh, proper icon now now tap on the mages icon to open it which will say requires additional setup then tap ok and the set will start rebooting into five seconds let it reboot When set got reboot, then unlock the screen, go to menu and tap on Magis icon again to open it. Finally, you will see uninstall Magis, the menu tabs. This menu tabs always appears when set got to properly rooted. Now tap on the last section that is the module section and you will see the list, a big list of uh, modules. This module list will always appears or arrive whenever you, the set is got properly rooted. Now your yes, set is got properly rooted. But in case if you want more confirmation, then download the uh, root checker basic application from Google Play Store. After downloading the root checker application from Google Play Store, just restart your device for once. Unlock the screen and then tap on root checker application. Let me inform you that internet must be connected with mobile phone. Tap on agree and tap on OK and tap on verify root. The super user request window will appear on your mobile screen. Tap on grant and you will see congratulations root access is properly installed on this device congratulations to you and congratulations to me the set is properly rooted now now you can enjoy 
installing the rooted application on your mobile phone but let me inform you that the bootloader remain remain be unlocked as far you are using root on your mobile phone for example if you are getting ota update on your rooted mobile phone xiaomi mobile phone the ota update will get download but it will not get update because the set is rooted i have uh, uploaded a video tutorial video how to unroot the xiaomi mobile phone and then we can simply update the mobile phone you can watch that video i will provide the link in my video description thank you for watching take a good care of yourself we'll see you in my next video till then goodbye